Inflation, inflation, inflation. That's the word on everybody's lips or most people's lips ever since I mentioned FGN bonds investment on this channel. Yeah, I started that video saying that I'll talk about the different things we can invest in this Nigerian season. Yeah, we know <laughs> we're on a very special, very volatile season in Nigeria. Once I dropped that video, oh my God, it threw up a can of worms. And is it two weeks later, we're still on number one. <laughs> we haven't even moved on to the next one. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love that. I've had time to put my thoughts together. And please, guys, consider this my opinion on the effect of inflation on your investment in Nigeria. Because let's face it, every single investment you hold in Nigeria now is affected by inflation. None of them is inflation proof, contrary to popular belief. Because everybody seems to be coming for MGN bonds as if it's the only uh, investment that is affected by inflation. I would like to explain or share my thoughts on the effect of inflation. Yes, inflation is 30% going on 35%. Yeah, you guys have been quoting a lot of numbers these days. And then MGN bonds is only offering you 16%. At least as at the last, as at this month, we are still in March, as at this month, they're offering you 16% on the three-year bond. We don't know what it will be in April because they increased NPR again <laughs> this month uh, when they had the meeting. So, yes, yeah. Let me use the first analogy. I am a teacher's daughter. I like to paint a picture. Even on my other channel, even when I'm cooking, I use the, I paint a picture for you so you'll understand it. Uh, in my job, when I'm training a new hire, I paint a picture and they understand it better. I have two examples or two picture paintings. <laughs> Let's say at this time last year, I was earning 200,000 Naira in my day job per month. Eh? And this money was okay for me and my family. It could pay our rent. It could pay my children's school fees, feed us pay for school bus for my children, you know, and then family entertainment once in a while. We were happy. Fast forward to present day. You know, once Tinubu took over, inflation assumed <laughs> a, a rocket takeoff. Yeah. The graph. Have you seen the graph? I'll put it here now. And now my once enough salary is no longer enough for me. I have two options cut down on my spending, maybe uh, find a cheaper school for my kids, maybe stop paying for school bus, I can meet a neighbor, and we arrange to be sharing pick-up and drop-off of our children at school. I can start paying attention to food wastage in my home because, you know, when we are comfortable, we don't look at all these things. Maybe we were wasting a lot of food, so I will not start measuring yam and all that. <laughs> Yeah, watch it out for electricity. If you leave a light eh, wasting during the day when you don't need the light, I'll tell you to turn it off. You know, stuff like that. Small, small savings here and there so that I can live within my means. That's inflation for you. Yeah, when your once enough salary is no longer enough for you. That means that cost of everything has skyrocketed. The other option I have is to give up become frustrated and say oh this is my salary inflation has eaten deep into my salary i'm not going to work anymore i put in my letter of resignation whenever i hear people shouting inflation 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 what i hear is that you're telling me to take the second option don't come and tell me you can go take that money and go invest in another country one we don't discuss investing in another country on this channel <laughs> you can go and do that but if you bear in mind that whether you like this government or not, whether you don't like their policies, investing must continue in Nigeria. Investing must go on. So channel that energy towards telling us what to invest in. Because actually a lot of all these comments that come for me, inflation, 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 I have not actually seen a good suggestion. Not that I'm not, I'm seeing suggestions in the comments, but this specific group of people that are shouting inflation, I have not actually seen an alternative investment. The few ones that I've seen, I've struck them down, I've struck down the belief that real estate, real estate, I mean, constructing a house, renting it out, not uh, investing in real estate on the stock market, 
uh, and uh, what else? Buying dollars and hiding on that. I've I've discussed those two on this channel. I'm still coming. We are still on it. <laughs> but as far as I'm concerned, if you're contributing, contribute in such a way that investment must go on in Nigeria. Don't tell us to stop investing in Nigeria. It's not going to happen. Investment must go on. I'm actually open to discussing this on a live video. Yeah, I can find time if you guys are up for it because I understand that. Or let me say, I don't want to believe that it's just me and a handful of people. Yeah, I see some people in the comments that see this thing from my angle. I don't want to believe that it's just a handful of us that have this kind of opinion. I'm sure that there are many more people, but maybe they're lazy to type out long tests, arguing with strangers in the comments. I perfectly understand that. I can set up a live video here where you can call in. Yeah, you speak. You know, speaking is easier than typing. So if you're up for that, please let me know in the comments and tell me the best time for you. Best day of the week, best time, Nigerian time, because, you know, Nigeria is one common denominator for all of us here. So we have some kind of link to Nigeria. So let's use uh, Nigerian time. Yeah. So tell me your best time below. And I'm all for it because honestly, I like these discussions. It helps me think deep about the reason why I am investing in something. Yeah. So thank you guys. Keep them coming. Just keep it civil. <laughs> and please, I don't delete comments <laughs> and I don't create burner accounts. I just want to put it out there. Yeah, uh, I don't have enough time to create other accounts. I'm not afraid of airing my views. So I'll use my account and respond to you when I have time. Okay? <laughs> I have a second example. Let's say that I am a student. And you know, as it's customary with students in Nigeria, when we need money, we think of all our relatives that we can go to for money. So let's say I went to my uncle. I spent days composing this perfect message that will make my uncle part with his money that's marketing you know students are very good marketers and then after writing this i sent it to my uncle you know i, I mentioned a lot of things i'm writing my project i need to buy handout feeding is now expensive and all that and then i sent it to my uncle and i said uncle i need two hundred thousand, please this is what will solve all my problems my uncle looked at his account and then you know sent me a ticket and said my niece, this is what I can afford now, country hard. I have two options. Uh, it's either I take the money and thank my uncle very much for tomorrow, because if you don't thank him today, he's not going to give you tomorrow. <laughs> and thank my uncle very well, even though my expectation was up there. Yeah, but this is free money that I did not work for. I'm not going to be entitled to his money, okay? That's number one option. Number two option is I get angry and say, I expected uh, 200K and he gave me only 80K. I'm not going to take this money. I send back the money to him. Take back your money. The first option is tantamount to accepting. Yeah, even though inflation is up there, inflation is that expectation. You want the interest you're getting to match inflation, right? Or, or be above it so that you're beating this inflation, but at the minimum to match it. But you're getting like half. This is expectation versus reality. The federal government of Nigeria never promised you 30% and paid you 16%. Yeah, you're the one that promised yourself inflation figures as percentage of interest. It's just an imagination in your head, right? And on the other hand, telling me to reject that, don't invest in this because he's not paying you, uh, yeah, inflation is higher, is tantamount to telling me to put my money under my bed. And by this time, I don't want to continue talking about putting money under the bed. You guys already know my opinion on that. <laughs> it will never happen. I would rather take 5% on an on a 100% passive investment. Like, you have to bear it in mind, this is passive investment. You're not doing any job. This is money you already have. You've maybe gotten from work or business or whatever. And then you put it there. Instead of the money being idle, the money is now working hard for you. There's a huge difference between that and what you... I, I don't know the, the what kind of expectation. There are so many economies where the interest rate matches the inflation. Please, go and invest there. It's not a fight. We're not coming to dip our hands inside your pocket to take money and invest in all these inflation laden investments 
and I believe that's why a lot of people are angry. Maybe some of you live outside Nigeria. You want a situation where you like the high interest rates because on paper it's high. Yeah, we remove inflation there. It's high. It's high figures. It's like uh, four times what you get in other countries. And now you want high high interest rates, but you don't want high inflation. It's not going to work. The reason why the interest rate is high is because of the high inflation, because they're trying anything possible to match the inflation. So there's no way, I don't know the kind of expectation you have that you, you can have a high interest rate in a low inflation country. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Take your money elsewhere if you feel that it's not good. I, I don't understand why you are so invested in telling us that we are making mistakes. The only thing I can do to my investment is if I feel that the 16%, the actual amount of money I'm getting from investing in a particular thing, let me just forget about FGM bond for a minute, anything you're investing. If I feel that my returns is not enough for me, I'll invest more money just like I discussed in the second video, the one where I talked about the FGN bond earning machine. Yeah. You set it up in such a way that you, you in increase your investment so that you earn more money. Forget about the inflation. Honestly, I don't know how to explain it. Can somebody explain it better than me? Forget about what inflation is doing. Just focus on the fact, at least that's what I do. Focus on the fact that this money is giving you more money instead of sitting idle in your bank account or is, instead of being under your bed. That's what I focus on. There's no way you can tell me that that interest I got that nothing is better than it. No, it's, it's not. The only thing I can do is to invest more money, to earn more money, to be able to live off of. The way I will explain it with the second analogy I made is I collect the ATK from my uncle and then I go and set more traps for my other relatives. I can go to my auntie, beg my auntie, beg this person, beg this person, beg this person. By the time all of them bring... 20,000, uh, 10,000, 5,000, this and that, it will add up to 200K that will solve my problem. As long as my problem is solved from all these uh, money I collected, I'm fine. It doesn't matter what inflation is doing. That going to set traps for all my other relatives is like going to invest in other things in Nigeria because no matter how you see it, if you condemn FGN bond, you condemn uh, treasury bills because treasury bills, the percentage is a bit higher, but it's still not up to inflation. Uh, you condemn uh, even FBN dollar fund will be affected by inflation. That one exchange rate too, especially if you go and buy dollars now and invest in FBN. I need to mention this. T take note of the difference between FBN dollar fund, which is a mutual fund of First Bank of Nigeria and FGN bond, which is uh, by the Nigerian government. Somebody got these two so confused in the comments, like writing essays and essays, and I was like, oh my God, yeah. So even that dollar-denominated investment will be affected by exchange rate and inflation. A lot of people, if you invested in FBN dollar fund, when the dollar was 500 naira uh, or 700 naira, you will be balling now. But if you go and buy dollar at this high rate, I still see it as high rate, even though you guys, some of you see it as low rate because you still believe that it will increase to <laughs> 4,000 Naira to $1 by this time next year. Yeah, Keep dreaming. We are all allowed to dream, please. But all I'm telling you is that you need to think about all these things. If you go and buy this high dollar and invest in a dollar-denominated uh, investment, you're not winning. And they pay 5% there. You're not winning as much as you think you're winning. Please, get a spreadsheet and do calculations for all these. Not based on dreams and uh, stars and all that. Yeah, Bring out a spreadsheet, calculate this, choose a time frame, maybe one year. Calculate this, calculate this, apply inflation if it bothers you. And uh, let's see how you come out at the other end. Stop using dreams yeah, and hopes and dreams to invest, please. You guys know that I have a spreadsheet for everything. Yeah, I use, bring out my spreadsheet, calculate this, calculate that, calculate the stress of even investing in that thing. For instance, if I want to invest in a dollar fund now, I need to first of all go and find Malam to buy dollar from. Fund manager will be managing it. 
this month it's this percentage next month is another percentage is going up and down compared to something that i know the percentage up front man peace of mind trumps all millions of naira you can earn elsewhere i'm not saying that fbn dollar fund is not a good investment it's a good investment it's actually better than far better miles ahead of putting your buying dollar and putting it under your bed is miles ahead because at least it's earning that five five percent but please but that's what i call diversification you have other places you can put your money and by the time all of them come in uh, every month you have enough to live on the most important thing in all this discussion is that you have enough money to live on not that you have more money for i don't know this inflation is so virtual so superficial that i don't even know how to bring it into the equation this is just a an imaginary figure yes the prices of things are rising but the money from you, your investments can they cater for your needs if they can cater for your needs i'm fine maybe this comes with where i live in there's a kind of mindset I used to have about, you know, money and living and affordability and all that. When I lived in Nigeria, when I lived in uh, the UK. But when I came to this Spain, I found out that the amount of money doesn't really matter. What matters is that your problem is being solved and you're happy. Anybody that invests will tell you that you build this thing slowly. But if you want to make huge amounts of money now 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 today 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 maybe that's why you're, you're going to be worrying about these things a lot of people even the biggest investors have ridden through inflation periods and came out stronger their money did not disappear inflation does not affect investors as much as it affects those who do not invest this is why i keep stressing hammering in fact that's the reason why i opened this channel that I wish there's a situation where everybody invests. Invest according to your pocket. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, in a society where the inflation is rising up like this, everything gets passed down to salary earners, to people that are not investing, to people that don't have any other means where money is coming into them without having to sit in an office for eight hours. We're even talking about sitting in an office for eight hours. It depends on where you live. Some people that live in Lagos, they leave their home four hours before uh, work starts and get home four hours after they leave office due to traffic. So yeah, invest, invest, invest. Today is early. Today is still early. If the inflation is too much, a landlord will add rent. Meanwhile, your employer hasn't increased your salary. But if you invest, you have some money working hard for you while you sleep or while you're at this other job. That one is completely extra money, which you can use to cushion the inflation that is hitting your salary. Focusing so much on inflation, the value of inflation, when it comes to 100% passive income from investment. I don't know how to, it's kind of dreams. Like you have this expectation. I want to be earning 30% from this money. Why am I not earning 30% from this money? And you're agitated such things do not agitate me call me an emotional investor but this is what i have control of i don't have uh, control of the interest rate they pay i'm not dmo it's dmo that sets uh, the interest rate on fgm bonds but what i can control is to put in more money so that my payout the most important thing is is your payout enough for you this is why in an investment, you can't really complain about inflation, inflation, inflation when it comes to investment compared to salary. Because your salary, you don't have control of increasing your earnings. It's only your employer that can increase your salary. And we all know that with all these rise in inflation, rise in cost of goods and services, a lot of people have not received promotion yet. Their landlord has increased their rent. Prices of goods and services have increased. Everybody is adding money, but your employer... Employer that is even taking losses, remember, because it's in, it's in the same economy. He's not even thinking about increasing salary in the next two years. So you don't have control over that one. But with your investments, you have control of putting in more. You see these FGM bonds and all the other government-issued investments. I've, ne I've not even mentioned my main fear. It's coming. I have a main fear of these investments in this current dispensation that I have not even mentioned. And you're talking about inflation. Remember. If you are interested in a live conversation on this inflation, effect of inflation on investments, I am open to doing that. I'm a very busy woman, but I'm sure I can find one hour in a, in a week 
to host it so let me know below if you're interested and let me know the perfect day and time for you if you enjoyed this video if you found it informative you know what to do i need to go <laughs>